<laughs> Wait, she caught up. everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I am really excited because I'll be checking out with y'all XG tape number 3A with none other than Harvey and Maya for two tens. We love to see it, which by the way was originally by Corday and Anderson Pac. I didn't find out about this song honestly until now when I read the description here and I thought might as well check out the original song in itself to understand the hook how the lines are supposed to go in the song and just try to notice what kind of route harvey and maya takes in the song of course and as i was bringing it up i noticed they ended up performing it at head in the clouds we love to see it haven't seen that performance at all which is why i'm partly going into this quite blindly and not knowing how it would actually play out so Let's just say I'm in for a surprise. It's been a long time since I've covered anything XG related on the channel. I actually watched episode one of XG's three meals a day on Patreon. Feel free to check that out. Been enjoying the first episode so far and then we're gonna be checking out episode two soon. But without further ado, Let's just get into two tens with Harvey and Maya now. All right, so I brought it up here. Two tens with Harvey and Maya. XG tape number three A, everyone. Let's go. Hey, there they are. This yellow school bus. Okay. No crumbs left tonight. And the Maya. New breed. Oh, I love how they're working off each other. On a Jekyll beat. A John Wick, yeah. Bringing in Japanese and Korean. I love how they took the hook and changed it to two twins instead of two friends. Double trouble. Shooting stars. Keep it 100. Okay, Maya. Two reactions. No crumbs left tonight. They just bobbing. They're just enjoying themselves and they're bobbing. We love to see it. But the presence, whether it's XG as a whole, the members by themselves, or in duos such as this, man, it is just, it can truly be felt, the presence, right? And Harvey and Maya here, just like Two Tens with Corday and Anderson Pac, I love how they played off each other and then worked off each other's lines, you know what I'm saying? And carried on from like one another in some moments, of course, and came through with 
sensical lines as uh, well that can be very clear cut and understood like right away. Like I didn't need to like go back to try to understand what they were putting uh, down. Aside from you know not having the English captions for the Japanese lines and the Korean lines that were added into the mix, but I get what they're putting down. I'm getting what they're putting down, but I like how they changed the from two friends to two twins and all. I actually want to dive back into it, break down some lines that I personally enjoyed in this, and then one key moment where like just the flow change, the change up uh, by the two of them that was so cool. <laughs> Oh, the charisma. Two twins and we both tens on the mic. Two both tens on the mic, you know. And the original song is two friends and the both tens and all. Two little Asians, like, what's all the hype? Real Asians, like, what's all the hype? Fake the last tape, then no crumbs left tonight. Cause we got no crumbs left tonight. They're only speaking facts right now. It takes to wreck the mic, right? XG pushing XP, break. XG pushing XP breaking boundaries. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. We do be hitting differently. Bone harmony. Just how they project themselves, uh, yeah, no, like with the, from the attitude within it and all and just how they're working around the beat and all and off each other simultaneously is so cool but honestly there's no such thing it's mediocre heat the nerve on these girls trying to pop off on a j the nerve on these girls trying to pop off on a j cole beat yo oh my goodness referencing j cole in this uh too one of my favorite artists out there rappers Still infinity Woo. just very sharp cut with the delivery my other line was the favorite line was john wick and then carrying it on to maya with the super saying Slaying it. Wordplay, yeah. I love the setup and like the lighting for this video. Can we appreciate that as well? They set up, like, the people behind the scenes truly set up Harvey and Maya for this XG tape. Simple but effective, you know, it doesn't take away from their performance. Double trouble. Shooting stars, you know. Marada die. Subliminal kids, just that rapid fire cannon delivery with Maya, but then just that that flow, right? It doesn't like cut, cut off from there. It carries on to Harvey. Woo! They're just spinning it. They're spinning it. They're rapping it and just carrying on from one. Another and all. I'm too blessed. Check the YouTube reactions. Who got the juice? Deuces. Whether it's the rhyme scheme. The wordplay, the lyricism, the skill set being truly shown and showcased. Ah, they just bring it to us all the time. Am I right? <laughs> I can't wait, you know, for the next one too. Like the next one, XG tape 
3B everyone with Jareen and Coca-Cola for nothing. I can't wait to do that as soon as possible. Check that one out as soon as possible. All in all, two tens, am I right? Harvey and Maya are complete tens. They nailed this out of the park yet again and just time and time again whether it's xg tape one two now we're on to three right they just keep on delivering it and i love how they add their own kind of flavor into the mix and then tr something truly xg is of course not only having english lines but in korean and japanese just the, and the sweet just how they really carry that out is just so signature XG in their mixtapes, right? XG tapes and all. So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Every uh, one, this was just complete fire by Harvey and Maya. And keep in mind, on a track that has been released quite a of recently, you know, it's not from several years back by any means. And it just goes to show you xg as a whole is doing so so much justice to different generations you know of artists and rappers i've got to say in the hip-hop scene and all so uh you gotta give it to them all of them rvmi and Maya, but now we're gonna have to get into jereen and coconut still so stay tuned for that for my reaction and coverage of XG Tape 3B, nothing with Jareen and Kokona. And then, of course, episode two of XG's Three Meals a Day. Like I said earlier, let me know your thoughts. Be sure to like, subscribe as it goes a long way and helps out the channel so, so much. This warms my heart connecting with fellow alphas in the comment section down below. Take care as always, though. This has been Garrison and peace.